We'll save it to the current user's personal certificate store. Leave the text extensions as they are. This information sets the certificate as a code signing cert and indicates it's not a certificate authority. Next, modify the subject with your information following the format on the screen. The subject must match the manifest on the package. We'll create that coming up. And give it a friendly name. This is what we'll use to identify the certificate. Once we have that updated, we can select and run the first block of code. Once finished, we can view the certificate with the next command. That displays all the certificates in the current user's store by subject, friendly name, and thumbprint. This example only has one. Now that we have our certificate, next we need to export it as a .pfx so we can use it as a code signing certificate. We'll start by setting the path. This is where the certificate will be output to. That also includes the name of the .pfx certificate. Then we'll create a password. You can modify this password if you'd like. We will need the password in upcoming steps, so don't lose it. And then the next command will export the password protected certificate to the location we configured. Let's select and run that. The next step imports the .pfx version of the certificate into the trusted people store.